for pitching coach Clint Chrysler. He's going to lean on his left-handed starter, David Harrison, the junior from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Last year, Harrison, a 2.67 ERA. Harrison works it to a full count, and the lefty delivers. Strike three on the inside corner. Two quick outs for the left-handed David Harrison. Trying to figure out the home plate umpire's zone. This 3-2 is swung and tipped into the mid of Bailey. Two punch outs for Harrison. Well, that's one thing that they're going to have to do this year. Uh, different. This line drive is down into the gap. Rolling to the warning track. And the first run of the ball game coming around third. Here's Murr. And NC State takes a 1-0 lead. And Williams head get, makes him leave pitches that are over the zone. And that is called strike three. He's trying to crawl back from behind. The 2-1 is drilled to center. Here comes Peterson, and he makes the catch. Baseman hitting 154 on the year. And Gillum promptly drills one to right center. That drops in. And there's your opening hit of the afternoon for the Longwood Lancers. A quick move like that. He's not picking up anything. This ground ball gets through the right side. And two early hits for Longwood. You really like to be able to get some help from your defense in an unorthodox way is a great way to help your momentum. Torres gets one. The turn is in time. Jarrett over to first. And in two pitches, NC State gets out of the jam. Ball four. And a leadoff runner on for the second straight inning. Cody Mao's club. Now run around the move on this first pitch and an easy stolen base for Tatum. He's head first in the second, a man in scoring position. The batter is Tatum, and the 3-2 is swung on and missed. High cheddar for out number one. Ability to swipe a base. MacArthur drills one to the left side, and an RBI single makes it two to nothing. Tatum scores in the second run of the ball game. And these early weekend series are huge. And the 3-2 misses in the dirt, so the bases are now loaded for NC State. Second straight walk. This time it's McDonough working his way on. At Louisville. Patrick Bailey moves back to the right side, shoots one down the corner. Here's Gorham chasing after it, and a nice catch at the warning track. Robbing extra bases and retiring the side. To, the, to Torres at short, and Harrison escaped a, a big jam. As Blankeny whiffs on the breaking ball, strikeout number three for Longwood. And Looney late on another breaking ball. Harrison, two quick strikeouts here in the third. Two outs now for Michael Peterson trying to bunt his way on. A challenge for Murr. Tosses to first and not in time with Jarrett covering. Seven campaign. And now this back pick is going to gun down the runner at first. The speedy Peterson is tagged out by Murr, and the side is retired. And he's leaning off. Peterson's leaning in another slip. Unable to get back in time at Murr with the... This is a pitch Brown can drive out to center. Turning back is Peterson. Up against the wall, and that ball's out of here. Devontae Brown with his first home run of the season, and NC State jumps ahead three to nothing. Stretched arms, as we'll see right here, just fastball up in the middle part of the plate. Peterson drifting back, looked at, as if it wasn't going to quite get there. Realistic aspect. So what NC State has done early in this season as Butler takes a That's called, called strike, strike three. Big big punch out there for Eggleston. His so the way you are able to build off of that. How about this push bunt, by the way, is Tatum keeps it in play, and Eggleston covers his ground beautifully. Opinion is that they will probably continue. Keep an eye on that right foot of Tatum. Almost simultaneous yeah. with the pop of the glove there of Gillum. Here come our umpires with the official call. And safe at first base is Tatum. That awaits the three and one. And he'll keep waiting as this ball gets away. Tatum high jumps the first baseman. Now looking for third. Gillum scoops it up, holding on to the ball, and down to third base goes Terrell Tatum. Maybe we can make him a two-way athlete. This ground ball stays on the infield. The run scores, and Eggleston shows off his defensive prowess. Opportunity to get base hits and score runs. They just have to make sure they take advantage of it. There's a base hit in the left for MacArthur, his second of the ball game. And the third inning continues on the two-out flick of the wrist from Lawson MacArthur to right his first time up. And now pokes one in the center. Here comes Peterson charging, and he has room to make the catch. Gets the ball back from his catcher, and he's towing the rubber ready to go again. Swing and a miss for Schnell. 
And Harrison cruising. Five strikeouts for the left hand. Do is just give your team the opportunity to get back into the dugout. This ground ball gets through the right side. Two runners on for the Wolfpack on McDonough's second hit of the day. And holding it second is Austin Murr for Hutt and Brown. The payoff. That is called high. Ball four. And an RBI for Devontae Brown. His second run driven in. A five spot on the scoreboard for NC State. Hutt with the heat. This is lifted in the center. Playable for Peterson. He charges in. Runner from third tagging is McDonough. And an RBI sacrifice makes it six to nothing. As Butler collects his seventh ribby of the year. 1-1. This is in a right center. Dangerous, but Gorham's got room. And that ends the fourth inning. Wonder how quick the bus got down here today. As Blanken, he chases out of the zone, and Harrison's cruising. Strikeout number six. And with two men on, the 2-2. Two -two is drilled to center. Peterson gives chase. Up against the track, the catch is made, and the sides retired after both pitches of the strike zone there. From Steve Sanders, this time he swings and misses. Seven punch outs for Harrison. Antoine Tucker drills this through the left side, and the base hit. Past the diving glove of NC State's defense. And yet here they are, no runs on four hits. That's gonna change with a base hit from Schnell. Cashing in Peterson, and just like that, the Lancers are on the board here in the top of the sixth. We'll lay off of it and even things up. The 2-2 is popped up in the center. McDonough coming in, Jarrett going back, and the second baseman's got it. As David Harrison, six innings of work, a new career high. Spot on the zone, but they've got a runner on now, and with NC State's ability to run like they have been. Speaking of running, Tatum into third, and he is... Safe at third base. Didn't see the call right away. Actually, my apologies. He's out. There we go. Quick defense for Longwood, and he gets out of the jam of the sixth. And the sophomore brings the 3-2. That gets the inside corner. Down looking goes Andrew Gorham for out number one. Finding success. The 0-2 from Nelson is taking a slider for strike three. Quick work for Baker Nelson. 1-2-3 with a couple of kicks. Especially in a game that's a five-run difference. It feels a lot more at this point as McDonough pokes one down the line. Long run and an impressive catch for Antoine Tucker. And that pitch is called strike three. Tenth punch out for the Wolfpack tonight. Person started sparingly, hit 189 as a freshman last year. Love that swing back as he goes around and the count is two and two. Oh, no, it's strike three. My apologies. And Longwood only down five, but it feels a lot more at this point as Tucker rolls one to short. Easy play for Menchik. And a 1-2-3 inning for the freshman Matt Willardson. His day a walk. He's yet to get a hit tonight. And that pitch is called strike three, an extended zone by Steve Sanders. 6-0 start. And now the 1-2 from the Higgs swing and a miss from Longaba. He retires Devontae Brown for out number two. Go 2-1 on the road. That's one thing that that NC State's going to want to continue, and Longwood's going to want to break the trend. Here's Schnell with the catch and a 1-2-3 inning. Logan Bender on now to uh, to finish off a good start. Called strike three as Bender unleashes the filthy breaking ball. Here's a ground ball to short, scooped up by Menchik, and pitching telling the story here in Raleigh. Logan Bender closes it out with three outs in the ninth. The Wolfpack moved to 4-0 on the year and 5-0 all-time against the Longwood Lancers.